Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me, and today I'm gonna to be doing a February favorites. So we're gonna start with beauty first. This month, I splurged on one skincare item. It is the Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Super 7 Complex from Fresh. This cream is so awesome, and it is a little bit pricey. It was, I think, $45 but it does come with a lot of product. I try to use it only in the morning to have my skin really refreshed and moisturized before I put on makeup, otherwise my skin looks really dry if I don't moisturize well. So I try to save it for the morning only because it does cost a little bit more and I'm trying to like make it last as long as possible. Next is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I personally think this is a lot like the ABH pencil and I don't really see any difference other than the price because the ABH one is $20 I think and this one is maybe 11 or under 10. At least for me, these brow pencils go so fast and I don't wanna keep spending $20 every two months or something. So I decided to try out the next one and it's pretty much the same exact thing. It is very easy to use this with a heavy hand so I would just be careful and watch 100 brow tutorials if you can because light strokes are the key to brow pencils and to dip brow as well. But I feel like people don't really realize that the first time they put on brow pencil. My first time putting on a brow pencil was scary. Next up is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. This is pretty much like a very sheer highlighter for all over your skin. As you can see, it's kind of shimmery and I use it as a setting powder and as like a nose highlight because usually I feel that my T-zone is way too oily to put a highlight on my nose. But this one gives it a very sheer glow and not just like a super highlighted nose tip, if that makes sense. So I heard about this product from Alexandra Garza here on YouTube and her skin is always glowing. But I definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking for that sheer glow. Then I have another setting powder. This one is from Dermablend. I actually recently got this over the holidays and the MAC girls swore by this. Apparently this and the setting spray from Dermablend is their tried and true. And life hack, Macy sells these for $34 I think in a bundle and one of these costs like around $25 or even a little bit more expensive so it just makes sense to get the bundle. So I just set my foundation and concealer with this and then spray on this after I've done everything of my makeup. It's currently 10.30 and I did my makeup at 1 I think. So I think my makeup stayed on pretty well and I did use both of these products today. I just have one fashion favorite of the month and it is my Birkenstocks. I wanted a pair of sandals that I could just slip on super easily and that are very comfortable. And I used to have like the little clog Birkenstocks and I just thought it was so funny that they were coming back in style. I mean, not, of course, the clog one. These ones kind of look like Jesus sandals almost. Next is my Hydro Flask. This is the best water bottle ever. First of all, it is insulated. So my ice water stays ice water for a very long time. Second of all, this has a sports cap. So you don't have to unscrew this like a swell bottle because I used to have a knockoff swell bottle and I hated it because you would have to unscrew it and you can just like drink from it like that. And there's like technology in the sports cap that keeps it cold as well. And at first I wanted like a plain color, like a white or like a gray or a black, but I'm happy I got this one because it's super colorful and this was like my favorite color back in high school slash middle school. I mean, it's still super pretty, but I wouldn't call it my favorite color anymore. I think I'm more on the neutral side. My next favorite is the Kayla It Signs workout program. I've been doing it for eight weeks now. So I did four weeks of the pre-training and four weeks of real training so far. And I'm doing it with my friend and it's so helpful to do it with a friend, you guys. Like you don't understand. It's super hard to make excuses when you have a friend doing it with you. I used to hate working out because because I never knew what to do. I always thought walking and running on the treadmill was so boring, but this program gives you specific workouts and she tells you how many times to do them. So for me, that's like a little bit more motivating than just thinking that you have to walk like 30 minutes on the treadmill every day, you know what I mean? Because it's like something different every single day. So it's Monday through Friday and you do the workouts Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday and Thursday you do low intensity workouts such as like treadmill or elliptical. So I wanted to keep this section continued and I wanted to tell you guys my favorite vlogger of the month 
This month it is Pia and Kane. Basically, they're Australian vloggers and he titles the videos Diaries of an Instagram Husband because she is literally like an Instagram model who gets paid to like go to, let's say Bali and stay in their hotels to like take pictures and to just like um, advertise their hotels. And she obviously does like products too. But I think it's so cool because they share a lot of their secrets for vlogging and they share what cameras they use and their setups. And they're very transparent. Like if you follow Pia on Twitter, she like tweets about like PR emails that she gets. And I think it's really interesting to me because obviously I do YouTube too. So I kind of like to find out about that stuff. And not to mention their videos are amazing. They're super high quality and the editing is amazing. The last thing of my favorites video is my favorite songs of the month. I have a little mix of house music and country. That's it of my February favorites. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm planning on writing up a blog post to have everything linked that I talked about in this video, so I will link that blog post down below so you can get direct links to all the random things and the beauty things and even the songs. I hope you guys are enjoying my Weekend in My Life vlogs, and if you have not seen them yet, then check them out. I will also put the playlist of my vlogs in the description box below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! It feels like